Well, looking ahead, in two weeks, the Love Oregon Festival returns for its second year. It's a celebration of Oregon's rich culture, food, music, and nature in the lush forest setting of Colton. Sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Joining us in studio with more is Carolina Fitchett and Allison Jones with Kenai Red Fish Company. Good morning to you both. Hi. Hi. Good morning. So glad good to be here. here. Glad Thanks you're here. for being here. This yeah. sounds like such a, it, I mean, it's just Oregon, right? It's good food. It's good drinks. It's awesome nature. It's good music. It's what we're known for. It is. It is. It, what makes us feel good. It's what heals us mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it sustains us. Oregon food, Oregon beverages, music, and the incredible culture that we have in the outdoors. And yeah. so that's really the setting that Love Oregon is. How did this all kind of come together in a festival? Well, it really came out of a place of heartbreak and isolation, which we all experienced during COVID. Yeah. So during the COVID time, we, um, we came together with some friends and said, you know, let's get outside and connect with music. Mm -hmm. And so we hosted some small front porch musical sessions. And then from that, that moved into some dinner parties. And then we decided it was time to actually expand and, um, and create a small mini festival that really is really celebrating the local companies like Allison's companies mm -hmm. and others here that really bring us sustainable food, sustainable beverages, and provide some education. So there are also a lot of workshops at the festival. Well, That's it's awesome. clearly off to an awesome huh. start if you're back for, for a year or two. And then mm -hmm. you also just look at the table. If this is, I feel you like know. the festival has been brought to us. <laughs> the sampling um, of the spring. That, yeah. That's how much you can find there. Uh, Allison, talk about the Kenai Red Fish Company and, and what you brought in and, and your contributions to uh, sustainable food and, and this festival. Yeah, so we're actually going to be providing salmon for one of the meals um, at the festival. Um, so essentially the meal will be from our boats to Love Oregon's table. Mm. Um, and we're a community supported fishery, so we travel up to Alaska. We're a Portland company, but travel up to Alaska in the summers during the fishing season. Um, and work with local uh, fishing families up there mm -hmm. uh, to fish for sockeye and coho salmon. Mm. And then we bring it back down to Portland in the Pacific Northwest. Um, you're able to reserve a share of our catch, families are, and then we deliver that share directly to their homes. Um, mm. So you have, you know, wild Alaskan salmon um, that's sustainably caught uh, year round in your freezers, which wow, is pretty special. Wow. Yeah, pretty yeah. direct to consumer. It doesn't get much Absolutely. fresher. Absolutely, uh, you yeah. can't yeah. see this, but um, they <laughs> brought some treats snack. in. Uh, <laughs> what, I, I'm, I'm gonna dive right in. Um, <laughs> would you like one? Yes, please. What do we have oh, here? Yeah, so this ask. is our wild Alaskan cold smoked salmon, also known oh, as yeah. Lox. Um, mm -hmm. It's a super simple recipe. It's secret, but I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> it's just a little bit of salt and brown mm. sugar for the brine, mm. Jamaican rum, olive oil, and then it's alder smoked. And we do all of this by hand um, in our micro batch uh, wow. processing facility that we own up in Alaska. I'm gonna eat the rest fantastic. of those. <laughs> yeah. I'm eating all of them. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. That's no, amazing. thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to spell so I can ask you a question. Oh my gosh, it's such a good bite. <laughs> um, what have you seen from consumers just having that connection to where their food comes from? They That's love so it and it's, yeah, it's an educational process. I think the uh, community supported fishery, which is what we are, um, is has taken a little bit of a backseat behind CSAs with farming. Mm -hmm. And so it's really exciting to educate people on the fishery aspect of it um, because it is, you know, wild Alaskan salmon or wild fish in general is so important. And being, you know, we are the uh, supply chain. Right. And so it's important that people know that, um, you know, it is that direct uh, boat to table yeah. and they really appreciate it and they can they can really see the difference which is exciting. Cool. It yeah. is, it's I've really I've heard of, of CSAs or you know stuff like that for beef but I, I didn't know yeah. the fisheries had yeah. it as well. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, it's really I'm neat. right there with you. On yeah. the, the nature side I kind of want to talk about where the festival is at. Absolutely. You know we talked about it on the way in. This is not in downtown Portland. This is really a, a regional event. So yeah. this is in Clackamas County mm -hmm. and it's in, at Camp Colton. Mm -hmm. What's uh, There are a couple of unique things about Camp Colton. One, it's an old outdoor school. Are you oh, cool. all familiar with outdoor school? I don't know if yes, any of your audience maybe. It's been, maybe. been a minute since I went to one, when but I, was, uh, I, never, I did go as a kid. Never to go to one, wish I had. Yeah. Well, if you didn't get to go to outdoor school, but you wish you had, uh -huh. you want to come to Love Oregon. There you go. Because we've incorporated a lot of outdoor school in the fact that it's at an outdoor school, you explore 85 acres. There is uh, science education. There's a lot of farm and CSA education. So we bring our farmers out to actually have classes. Kids get to have a great time. There's a scavenger hunt. Oh, cool. There's a goat walk. Mm -hmm. um, there's a barefoot forest walk. If you Ooh. can imagine that. Oh, that's so there is, um, there's health education, you know, uh, farm education, and of course, just 
a lot of fun. Yeah, and mm -hmm. folks get their own oh, wood that's cookie neat. from, uh, if you went to outdoor school, yeah. you probably had a wood cookie. I oh, didn't so nice. all, the, uh, all the participants come in and they get their own little package. And I love that. Campaigns. That's awesome. Yeah. And you're working with some uh, some nonprofit partners as well. Tell us about some of the benefits. We are. So for, we really look at both uh, right food, we look at the outdoors and um, and then community. So Friends mm -hmm. of Noise, which is a nonprofit based out of Portland and working mm -hmm. with youth into the music industry is one. We're also working with Malala River Watch. And so they really look over the entire watershed for the Malala River mm -hmm. area. And so they're coming out. It's an incredible place to go and explore nature if you're done with Forest Park, you know, or you want to, <laughs> you want something else to explore. And then uh, lastly, we're working with the Northeast uh, Emergency Food Shelter. Mm -hmm. So they'll, they'll come out and be able to, no food goes to waste here. So awesome. food that's not eaten um, is packaged and taken to, oh, uh, that's fantastic. to it's, it's a great message. I just, I, I love yeah. all of it. It's very holistic, very all encompassing. When mm -hmm. you think about the state, the food we eat, what we drink, what we put into our bodies and where yeah. we, where we spend our time. I all think it's it really cool. so well together yeah. here in yeah. Oregon. It's really yeah. like a love letter to Oregon yeah. and I back to us. That. And you that know. is Love Oregon Project. That's and folks great. can still get tickets. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah, we've got the info for that here. Caroline Allison, thank you thank both you so for much. joining yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want tickets, if you want more info, plan your trip to Love Oregon Festival, just go to loveoregonproject.com.